Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, we are doing a video that you knew was coming. Oh yeah, and it's here, you're welcome. Before I go any further, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my growing editing team. I have three fantastic editors, Timothy, Eva, and Kelly, of course. If you're ever curious about who edits one of my videos, their credit is always posted down below in the description. So huge shout out to them. They've been working very hard to make sure that you guys have content every single day and um, they don't get enough recognition, so. Oh yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's look at some influencers getting called out on social media. I'm ready for this, oh yeah. When rando influencers ask me for free merch, I always propose my offer. They can buy what they want and I'll give them a coupon code for them to post. If the code is used at least 10 times in 30 days, I will refund their entire purchase plus shipping. No one ever takes me up on it. Doesn't surprise me. But at the same time, as an influencer, if you uh, if you have a big following, these these coupon codes, I'm not, I'm not, maybe, who knows? Maybe I'm speaking too soon, but like, yeah. True influencers, like real influencers that do this for a living, do, do paid posts, like paid posts, so. Sponsorship opportunities, no cost. We'd love if your cart could provide one or two days of ice cream. All of our influencer guests will be prompted to post and tag all sponsors at the event. This is a great opportunity to promote CVT within the influencers of LA. We also include your social handle and hashtag on our thank you card going to all influencers. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you will be able to join us. Please let me know if you have any questions. So I work for free and give you free ice cream for one to two days in exchange for some social media posts. I'd rather vacation in North Korea. I think that means no. Social media popularity and influencer culture is gross, but also I want to make money for doing absolutely nothing too. It's a ton of work. It's not doing nothing. It's taking pictures at the ass crack of dawn to make a hotel stay look like a vacation. It's eating cold food because it took forever to get the right lighting. It's editing photos and videos for hours because it has to look professional AF. We're business people, photographers, marketing experts, and have to look good doing it. So F off with this influencers do nothing stuff. I'm sorry that it's so stressful that you have the privilege to go to a hotel. I mean, I don't really think that this response from the influencer actually accurately, uh, influencing is a job. Like it's a job like any other. And there are things associated with being an influencer that take up a lot of time that are annoying. I feel like influencer is a bad term. It, it's more like, you know, like personal, like it's almost like you're creating personal print ads and you are the sub, you're the actor, you're the photographer, you're the retouch artist, and you're the person writing the copy as well. And the person talking to clients. Uh, but to say that you don't live like a privileged life is, I mean, it's pretty sweet getting free stuff and being paid to like, you know, hold up a whatever the hell. <laughs> I will also say though, that gaining a following is a lot harder than people give it credit for. That's the real work. And then once you get to the point where you have a following, that's the nice privilege stuff. Oh, we got a long one here. Hey, I seen you're a web developer. Are you interested in taking up any projects? Hey, yeah, I'm a full stack developer. I use Mern stack, blah, 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 blah. I have three years experience in a professional environment and two years working remote. What kind of projects are you thinking? I wanna make a new CRM for our marketing agency, something geared toward our niche. That way we'd be able to automate our work and create custom reports and invoices for our clients. Sure, do you already have a website and hosting? We have a WordPress website. Do you want that updated as well? No, we like it the way it is. Okay, we'd love to know more about the project, my current rate is $50 per hour with a monthly retainer to get started. $50 per hour, that's kind of high. What do you feel comfortable with paying? Everything's negotiable. Nice work. It's always good to work with a budget. Great, I was thinking you can make this for us and we can give you a shout out. Why did I know this was coming? On our Instagram, letting everyone know how great of a job you did. There's a lot of businesses following us. That'll get you a lot of work. Is that a joke? Question mark. You can't be serious. You claim to own a marketing agency, but you can't pay me. No, but we'll be able to get other people to work with you at your rate. One, a project like this can easily take three to six months. Two, you literally just posted about how much money you make. Three, do your clients pay you in exposure too? That's stupid, how hard can it be to code? <laughs> well, you do it then. Watch some YouTube videos, figure it out. You must be a scammer. I'm gonna tell my followers to report you. Go ahead, those will see how you're not actually rich and just a cheapskate. You can't afford to pay real wages. Next time, just go to Fiverr if you want a slave, but you probably can't even afford the $5 either. Consider yourself blocked and reported. Oh, I'll miss you so much. Please come back, please. What will I do without you? Hi, we want to celebrate doing good things for our planet while simultaneously doing something good for ourselves. That's why we want to share with our followers our favorite seven spots, serving up the best vegetarian and vegan options in London. One each evening on blah, blah, blah. How it works is we prepare posts with a picture of what you guys do paired with a fantastic caption, sharing your story and why we love what you do. We can include anything you would like us to mention and hashtag anything you fancy. We have plenty of venues that use our page for regular publicity. And for that, we usually charge 150 quid. However, during our campaign, weeks that we lowered the price to 125 because we choose you. 
What? So you invite me to pay you to make an ins Instagram post about? What? Is that what's happening here? I'm confused. Let's read the response. You're welcome to feature Gauthier Soho on your food guide by trying the restaurant with a review. You can review the restaurant by booking a table using the normal way and eating the food and subsequently writing down what you think about it. When finished, we'll give you the bill, which you can pay for that realistic effect. In my experience, this is best done anonymously, so we don't accidentally recognize you and give you a biased, fawning, unrealistic experience. Tip, if you're a famous critic, use a false name and wear a fake mustache and glasses, just to make sure. After this is all done, you're welcome to post what you find on your Instagram or blog and say exactly what you want about it. How's that for press freedom? Yours, blank. How spicy. I like that. Hi, I'm blank and a contestant on the season of My Kitchen Rules. My cooking partner and I are heading down to Adelaide this weekend to host some cooking demos for Tasting Australia. We would love to come over Saturday for dinner. I've heard so many good things about Africola and would love to come and try some food. In exchange, I can post food shots and stories on my Instagram page. I've got a very high engagement rate. Thank you. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. And they posted it on their story. Dear blank, how about you do the right thing and pay for your meal like everyone else. You do not generate any hype nor actual dollars for any businesses that you post about. The ATO suppliers nor staff care about exposure. If Katy Perry can pay for a meal in my restaurant, so can you. Good luck with your depressing demo at Marion Shopping Center. <laughs> yeah? You like that? Good. More to come. Hey, I love your products. I'm a very respected influencer that can make you lots of money by promoting your products on my page. Let me know what you think. What do you have in mind? Then I'll take some pictures and upload them to my page. What if I give a huge discount instead? Um, honey, that's not how it works. You must be new to the game. You see, I'm a very respected influencer. You'll gain more from me than I'll gain from you. I'm doing you a huge favor. So because you are a respected influencer with 1,000 followers, <laughs> 1,000 followers, you deserve things for free. Sorry, but I can't give you stuff for free. Do it for exposure, bye. F you, your brand is going nowhere. Your products ain't that good, so sucks for you. You will never get an opportunity like this in your life. All well, I'll ask for other better clothing brands that do know how the Instagram influencer game works. Go for it. Something tells me you're not as respected as you say. Anybody who acts like that ain't respected. <laughs> Usually my arrangements with restaurants is that you give my friend and I a meal on the house and in exchange for Instagram coverage and reviews. With all due respect, I'd say you have as much right to review my restaurant as I have to review your menstrual cycle. Yeah, you kind of deserve that a little bit. Reviews are not something that you need to really pay money for. If you're a good restaurant, people will write good reviews about you. Ooh, it's a photographer one. I'm excited. Hi, how are you? I really like your images and I'd love it if you could do a collab. Hi, thanks for reaching out. I'm glad that you like my images. Are there any specific shots that you were looking for? I currently have a special for three looks and nine edited images for $175. That's a really good price, man. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Oh, really? I was mostly looking for something that I wouldn't have to pay for. Who oh, are you? Who are you? Which is why I said collab. I currently don't have funds and would appreciate it if we could work something out and both be happy. Got it. I'm not doing free shoots at the moment as I'm very busy, but you seem to be genuine. So I just thought of something. I got this camera from my grandfather that's been sitting here a while. And I think this is going to be a great opportunity for me to test it out. And maybe we could do a trade as you mentioned. I also have this really cool backdrop that I wanted to use. So let's say we do a time for print shoot where I try a new backdrop and a new camera on you. Probably an all white outfit would work for what I have in mind. Can be a dress, a wedding gown or anything, just all white. And we do one or two additional looks where you get to pick whatever outfit image style that you want free of charge how does that sound wow Wow, that's incredible. What a nice thing to do. Oh, but wait, there's a response. Hmm, I'm not really into being used as a test out. Sorry, this sounds like something you'd hire a model for and pay them. So I got a better deal. Since you're trading with two free looks, I can make you pay me. Oh, ah, no, she didn't. Pay me just half of what you'd pay a regular model if you were to hire them for your test needs. And for the white outfit that you wanted, I could find one online and send you the price for it. Or also I could rent my mom's wedding dress and have you pay a very low fee for it. I'd be honored to wear my mom's wedding gown on a shoot. Oh my gosh. The entitlement! I think you misunderstood the word test. I'm not using you at all. I'm actually doing you a favor since you're the one needing pictures. That test, as you mentioned, can be done anytime and I can also do it without a model. Why would I pay you if you were the one who brought up the trade part? And also, I'm not providing any funds for the white outfit. As I said, it could be anything white. If you don't have something white, send me your measurements and I'll try to see what I can get from a friend of mine who is a stylist. I also have a local makeup artist who I work with. She charges $45 an hour for a shoot if that's something you'd be interested in at your own cost. 
cost, of course. If not, you can just do makeup for a natural look. I hope that's more understandable. I can't even believe that this person actually has patience to talk to this person. Like, I would not want to spend an hour with this person, an hour, two hours, or whatever it is, taking photos of this person. It sounds terrible. But wait, there's more. Wow, you seem to be very demanding for what you call a trade. I have to pay for my makeup too? Is this a modern type of slave behavior? <laughs> Stop it. Come on, man. Now, why don't we just put the test thing aside and make things less complicated because you said that's something that you don't need a model for. You could just do the shoot for free and I can bring all three looks of my choice. I don't have too many outfits, so having your stylist friend would also be appreciated. As for makeup, how about you choose the makeup that you want for me? Not too much makeup, of course. And you get to pay the makeup artist since, you, oh my God, it never ends. Since you're gonna pick the one that I should have. I think this will make things easier. Did you just say that I was too demanding after all these things that you want done at no charge? You know what, I don't think this is gonna work out. I'm pretty sure there are other photographers out there who'd be willing, maybe, to provide what you're looking for, but not me. I'm gonna pass on this trade. Good luck. Really, I need these pictures and you should help me. You know that I will look beautiful in all of them and I'd be great for you. Hello? Can you please respond rather than leaving me on scene? Never mind. It's your loss anyway. Just know that if you get any negative reviews, you know where it's coming from. Unprofessional. That was a whirlwind. I, I would not have responded. Like, I would not have taken the time to respond. I'm surprised that they even offered. Like, that, you, if you ever see this, whoever this person is, that is a very nice thing to do to offer a free shoot, time for print. And then to have her, like, turn, like, even after that horrible response, you still wanted to do a shoot with her? Bruh, come on. Not worth it. Not in the slightest. Moving on. I'm upset. That upset me. Thinking about how different my life is from the man picking the rice field every morning. This is just my thinking bikini, or thinkini for short, from an influencer. Just sounds like a little humble brag to me. This is one of the worst I've ever seen. Wow. If she was really an influencer, she could have had a day where she asked the man to help and live a day in his life. Maybe asked him his life story like Humans of New York does with people around the world. Then maybe she could have asked him if it was all right to post a photo with him on her Instagram with a more in-depth version of what his life is like. This is just, my life is better than the guy. Look at my butt. Also, nah, I didn't ask for his consent to post a photo about him because I suck. Shake my hand. Shake it. Yeah, that's, it's a little insensitive. I do most of my thinking in my underwear and bathing suit. Realistically, are you even thinking if you're not wearing a bathing suit or bra and panties? Just a bathing suit or bra and panties? You're doing it wrong. I'm a clothing designer and I have a small online shop. I get contacted by influencers on a weekly basis, but this one takes the cake. A girl reached out to me asking if I wanted to do a collaboration. She sent me her social media pages and while she didn't have a big following, I really liked her photo style, so I figured I could send her something small. I gave her a few options of shirts that I wanted photographed and asked her to choose one. She comes back by saying, oh, I was actually hoping you could send me all of these. Then proceeds to link to four of my most expensive items, all of which are highly custom and $80 plus each. Then as if that wasn't enough, she clarified that she would only post the photos to her Instagram for one hour. And if I wanted more, I would have to pay her $150 starting price. <laughs> On top of sending her close to $400 worth of clothing. Keep in mind, Miss CB over here only had around 8,000 followers, which isn't much for an influencer, let alone one asking for this high of a price. I ended up just not responding and reporting her as spam to the website I sell through. Now that I look back, I doubt any of the photos were really her. They were far too well done for what she was offering. No designer in their right mind would agree to her terms. Her price is more like someone with 500K followers would ask for. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Here's an idea. How about everybody go and help out a small business by going and taking a photo of you and their products so that they actually survive this pandemic? And then maybe they can repost it and then get you followers. How's that sound? Subscribe!